For this project, I used all premium pine from the big green shed. It's already milled perfectly to size and square and only needs to be cut to length, which saves me a lot of time. I started by cutting four long rails or stretches and two end boards that will make up the main structure of the table that will house the drawers. The overall length of the table is 1.7 meters. The rails are glued and screwed to the ends. I then installed two internal dividers that go in between the drawers. The drawers in this table will be traditional style, no metal runners, just wood on wood. I then installed these infill pieces that will be the draw runners. Next, I squared up one end of the leg pieces and then cut them to final length. Or is that height? I gave the legs a subtle round over to ease that sharp edge. And then chamfered the bottom of the legs to help stop any tear out if they're dragged across the floor. For each side, two of the legs get joined together by a short apron piece, but the standard width boards I had weren't wide enough, so I joined two together using pocket hole screws. I then trimmed them down to final size by ripping the same amount off each side so the join remained centered on the board. Time to put together the side leg assemblies. With one leg clamped to the bench, I used a piece of 6mm MDF to give me a small reveal between the leg and the apron. And here's a progress shot with the legs clamped in place. The inside area of the leg assemblies and the end boards of the carcass would be totally inaccessible once they were joined together, so I painted them first. Just for peace of mind really, don't know if this was at all necessary. The leg assemblies were then fixed to the table frame with screws.
For the top of the table, I had to edge glue four boards together to get the required width. The construction of the top will be very similar to this coffee table I made about two years ago. I started by edge gluing the two centre lengths together first using biscuits. While they were drying, I cut the mitre on one end of the two outside boards and then cut them to length with the second mitre at the other end. I glued on one board at a time so I could get the placement millimetre perfect. To finish the top, I cut the two shorter mitre pieces for each end. And then glued them in place with biscuits and plenty of glue. Next, I made the lower shelf out of three boards edge glued together. Once the shelf had dried, I trimmed it to final length using a circular saw and my DIY saw guide. To install the shelf, I used an offcut of one of the legs to mark the cutouts that would allow a small setback from the face of the legs. I used a marking knife to mark my lines and cut them out with a handsaw. The shelf is fixed to the legs using pocket holes on the underside. The shelf adds stability to the base of the legs and also rigidity to the table itself. To make sure the shelf was installed at the same height on each leg, I used four pieces of timber cut to the same length as spacers. These also made sure the shelf wouldn't move when screwing in the pocket screws. Because the table was so long, I had to add a number of structural members to help stop sagging. One of them was this brace under the shelf. I positioned it towards the back so it wouldn't be seen from the front. To attach the top, I used these figure eight clips in the center. And elongated the screw holes at the rear.
Well, that's it for the uh, table build. In the next video, I'll be getting into building the drawers and all the detail on the front and finishing it off with a really bright color, which at first I wasn't too sure about, but it's since grown on me and I really like the table. I think it looks really cool.